I just don't like the way the UI movie works. Forget whether this eggs can use boost or not. Oh well. I'll check after this battle. Because I may have equipped. Don't they need an item to use the boost? What I'm saying is I forget whether I've equipped it with that item. I do wish Confuse actually had an effect on enemies. You know what else I realized? I don't have anyone wearing the swimsuit. I need to change that. <laughs> yes. You could have somebody extract the skill. Wearing the Except that it's a level 5 skill. Oh, yeah, that, that would hamper your abilities to extract it. Who need. Momo needs tech points. Momo always needs tech points. Don't you have two swimsuits? This is a good point. I do have two swimsuits. So I'll put the other one on Chaos. Some, somewhere, right? What? The third one's in here somewhere, right? I think the third one is a Driller Prize. Oh yeah, the third one was a Driller Prize. The Driller game really frustrates me. I'm not, like, gonna get everything from that. Frustrates me too. I think there are actually plot points in some of these rooms, like if you check certain computer thingies. Hey, look, it's 42. 42? Oh. Okay, so aside from 42, I have this theory of three, because three occurs way too many times in the world for it to be simply coincidental. It's a mental. What do you mean? People naturally like the number three. Yes, people like the number three. It's like how little kids always draw that symbol. That's like a circle with lots of lines. That's like the first thing kids draw. And it's like a sun, but it's also a person's hand, and there's a modified version that they make look like a person. But anyway, three. Like, the number three is just pleasing to the human eye and mind, which is why it occurs so many times. But you also Try have just, like, lots of things just happen in multiples of three, and it's interesting. Like what? Yes, three Smurfs. There could, I, I said be before, and you were like, no, there cannot be four, there are three Smurfs. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> there cannot be four, there is only three. There could not be two Smurfs either, because that was not enough. No, there are four Smurfs, but one of them is passed out drunk. Maybe. Well, yes, so he's not present. Yes. But anyway. So, Junior just remarked on the fact that Xion knew that the, all of these medications were used to to treat mental illness, and and he said, oh, that that, that must be why you're chief engineer at Vector. And Xion's like, um, <laughs> because the reason why she knows that is that her mom was in a mental institution, <laughs> but she doesn't say that. Oh, snap. But like, what kinds of things are you talking about that happen in threes? I had a fun quote in my um, 
makes of useless information. I forget which which of the ancient Greek philosophers said it, but he said the quote goes that uh, uh, says that uh, it is universally accepted that the number three is a symbol for male genitalia. Well, I can see the reason for that. This is kind of funny. What was that, Kim? Well, if you turn three on its side, what does it look like? Most people are sure of why with balls. I thought it was just because there were those three things down there. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And that's what looks like in Michael and who most that Jesus is just kind of like three things. Yes, three things down there, and there's also... Like the number three on its side looks like a pair of balls, so I didn't notice that. I always <laughs> thought it looked more. Look at the number three on its side. I always thought it looked more like an ass. Well, then, too. Sure. This guy's like a good ass. Okay. Have you heard of the. I forget who did it, but there was like a version of the Mona Lisa that has the letters L H O O Q, which in French is like the. Homo it's, it's like a homophobe. Elle a chaud au cul, which means she has a hot ass. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which of course doesn't make sense, but I guess that's the point. Because well, if you say those letters with the real accent, then it sounds closer no, to No, I mean it doesn't make sense as applied in that context, because you can't see, you know, you can't see that part. That's probably the point. <laughs> oh, whoops, I should have used Dark Scepter. Oopsies. Oh, also three. Three battle members. This, it, you know, in a lot of games it used to be four, but it's... It would be four, but then... But then... Three, Final three. Fantasy IX is the most recent game I can think of that used four party members. Okay, this place I will be able to reach later. It's just interesting. And then, like, there are a lot of games where they don't have, like, you have X number of hits to kill something. Oftentimes, it, it turns out to be three. In Mario Galaxy 2, they screw with you on that, because some bosses need three hits, but others need four or five. Yes, well, like I said, most, a lot of games, is three. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, I'm saying that's sort of, you know, an exception that proves the rule kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, Mario games, before they added a health meter, it would be at maximum... Well, I shouldn't say it, Mac, because if you have Yoshi, it would be different. But, like, you would have your two power-ups, and then after you lose your two power-ups and you get hit a third time, you die. Well, that changed from game to game. Sometimes you lost all your power-ups after getting hit once. Yes, well, like, in Super Mario World, you pick up one power-up, and then if you pick up another, it puts your current into, like, this little box at the top of the screen. Yeah, so, that's like, true. if you get hit, it would drop that for you. I mean, if you pick up Yoshi, then you have effectively four hits. That's true. I don't like the fact that in Mario Galaxy 2, if you get hit while you're on Yoshi, Yoshi you lose lo Yoshi and lose a point of life. That always seemed like too much. It, it just it just doesn't seem fair though, especially with the fact that that Mario and Luigi take approximately forever to get back up once they've gotten hit. Well, if you time, if you mash the A button with the proper timing, they get up immediately. I did not know that. How could you not know that? Come on, everyone, we still have a long ways to I don't know. Push the A button just as they just as they get knocked to the ground, they jump right up. I have never seen anybody do that. Well, I haven't played a lot of Galaxy, but in other games you can do that. I'm 
again, it just kind of depends on which game you're playing. But a lot of games have a mechanic where if you get knocked down and you mash, like, the jump button right as you come into contact with the ground, the character jumps right up. Yeah. I know there's something in here that uses an instant death attack, but I forget what part. You know, I, I forgot to check the eggs unit. You might want to do that then. Yes, it can use boost. Yes. The super duper one can? Yes. <laughs> Okay, hey, oh, I was about to say there's no partition here, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> and here's the second to last save point in the game. Oh. I will be coming back and using the save point again once I've opened up a couple of things and made this area more convenient to travel. Yes, we do have a ways to go. We've established that. <laughs> Consider it established. This this particular track really reminds me of uh, Metroid Prime One, where you're exploring the sunken um, pirate ship. When you're exploring that, it greatly reminds me of huh. the music in that place. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Why didn't you open the chest? I did open the chest. Oh. You know, I'm going to go back just to make sure now that you said that. Because I didn't hear that the little acquisition sound. <laughs> the little stuff get sound? Stuff get. Yeah, the chest is open. Okay. It just was odd. Maybe I should switch to my primary party. Probably. <laughs> hmm, the experience is pretty even, but... After a couple of battles, I will. So what do you think? Should I do the final battles in swimsuits or not? <laughs> do you get EXP and stuff in the final battles? Um, I mean, the two... There are two battles... The last two battles in the game are right in a row, so you can't really use the tech points from the first one. So I guess it makes more sense to, you know, go for higher defense. I do think this game should have incorporated, like, surprise attacks and stuff, especially since you can see your enemies on the screen. Oh, like preemptive strike and ambush? Yeah. 